In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get unlimited stream deck buttons for free. In fact, this is cool if you're using a stream deck that's a little smaller and you need some extra buttons, but this is gonna be Bitro, which means it's gonna be on your computer and you're gonna need to have a stream deck to be able to unlock that feature. This is made possible by Elgato's new updated stream deck software. So let's not take much time, let's get into it. What's going on guys, my name is Sammy watching my production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So this is my Stream Deck software and as you can see I have this thing here called Virtual Stream Deck. So Elgato has introduced this new update where if you can see this is my regular Stream Deck which is 15 buttons. This is the Mark 2. Alright, you guys can see it. However, if you go here under Stream Deck and you go down, you scroll down, you can see they have a new feature called Add Virtual Device. Now I don't know the limit but I I think you can add as many as you need and to be able to access this first i'm gonna show you how to get it because the regular stream deck software as of now does not support it so you're gonna need to download the stream deck at 7 version okay to get to it is not that easy but if you go to google and just type in a stream deck 7.0 the first one right here you click to it it's gonna take you straight to the page all right and what it's gonna give you is it's gonna get you here it's gonna show you some of the release notes and everything what you can do with it okay but if you go here where it says get early access this is like in beta right now but it seems to be working honestly so you click to get access it's gonna download directly it's gonna download the file directly you don't have to give them your email address or anything or to request access okay and once it downloads it's gonna get into your download folder all you gotta do is you can go into your download folder and it's gonna show up here which is gonna be stream deck 7.0 just double click on it and install it super easy just follow instructions once you have installed go ahead and open your stream deck software as usual and if you click you go here under stream deck usually it's gonna be when it opens it's kind of smaller you go under stream deck you're gonna see your regular stream deck again if you don't have a stream deck it's not gonna work okay you need to have an actual physical stream deck it could be the tiniest smallest one or the neo whatever it doesn't matter any physical stream deck not the mobile one it's gonna allow you to do this okay now while you go here you're gonna see this option that says add the visual device so we're gonna go ahead and click add and as you click to it it's gonna show up on your screen now if you go here you can see right now i've added three already i don't even know how to delete them i'm gonna find out but yeah so you can go here under this menu thing and you can choose it to be dynamic or fixed again for me fixed seems to be working and you can go ahead and play with it okay you can also assign a hotkey on your keyboard if you want that when you click uh, on that key it's gonna open that particular stream deck you have some options here to auto hide it you know things like that or after action is triggered to kind of hide it but for me i'll probably keep it on screen if i have it and you can also choose how many rows you want to have as you can see now it's only six buttons but let's say you want to have seven buttons going down and maybe three columns uh four let's say five let's say four right this way we want to have it a little more vertical something like this right and then i'm gonna show you why i want it that way and then again you can add as many as you want really i don't know the limit but can probably do like a hundred let me try 100 and see what we get okay 100 doesn't work so it could be let's say 80 okay 80 doesn't work either so i think you have a limit okay so you see you limited at eight by eight that's the limit so far but you can add as many stream decks as you want so you can do stream deck one stream deck two you know and you keep adding as many as you want i guess so anyways you're gonna have more than you need to be honest all right another cool thing you can do you can choose the key size you can choose the opacity if you want it to kind of fit in a little bit which i wouldn't do you cannot choose the frame color all right again i like the, this one i i find it super cool but if you want to change it to a different color you can do that yeah but other than that it's just a normal stream deck all you gotta do is we can go ahead and actually start adding some buttons so right now i have obs open and as you can see again i can put it here for now what i'm gonna do because i want it to be a little smaller so i can reduce the columns buttons 
So it kind of fits in this docking area here, right? To look a little more cool. Again, you can even, you know, move it to a different screen, all right? So now what we can do is, as you can see, I have my scenes here in OBS. They say I wanted to this thing to control OBS. I can go ahead and start adding buttons. So I'll go to my Stream Deck app here, and then I type in OBS, and then I can say to say I want the record button. I can add it here. And as you can see, it's added already. All right, you can name it like a normal stream deck. So let's say it's just normal me wreck. And then you can also change the icon, right? You can go here, say record. See, as you can see, I got the button here and then boom, it'll be updated. Oh, it's not being updated. All right, so it doesn't work so far. Again, this isn't better. So the GIF thing doesn't work. It has to be the animation doesn't show up. So it's gotta be uh, an actual image. So as you can see, it's working. I can add, let's say, stream a stream button. As you can see, it's working, no problem. And I can add a scene here. Let's say I'm gonna put one here, and that's gonna be my scene number one, my intro. I can add another scene button, All right? And this is gonna be our second scene, main camera. And then we add another scene here. Right, and then this one is gonna be our guest scene, and then we can add another scene here. Again, you can choose your layout depending on how you want it. This is our main camera, our main guest, and then we can keep going and keep going. And as you can see, just a proof of concept. So let's say I'm gonna hide my software, my Stream Deck software, and I click change this change to intro. Boom, it's working, right? And then they say I'm using OBS, da, 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 instead of going to click on my scenes or wanna mute music or whatever, I can just do whatever I want, okay? So let's go, I wanna go to main camera, boom, it's working, no problem. I wanna go to guest, boom, it's working, no problem. I wanna go to main guest scene, it's working and there's nothing there. So, <laughs> as you can see, this actually could be easier than using a physical stream deck in certain cases. You can also move it to a different screen and that will work. As you can see, I had another one that had created and only has one button. And if I press it, I added some music to it. And right now we got some music playing. I mean, it's not music, it's just a sound effect, right? You can have some buttons for like sound effects. You can have some button like this one is for recording. If I hit it, as you can see, it starts recording, no problem, which is really, really cool, right? Now you click again, it stops recording, which is cool. So guys, so far, if you're finding value in this video, please make sure you subscribe down below and also consider becoming a member of the channel to support the channel, but also get some really cool perks that have been working on building a community of people who are into streaming and creating content so make sure you join check out some of the perks that we're offering guys if you want to be a member of the channel but other than that guys i'm super super excited for this thing i'm gonna be using it this can easily be complementary to a physical stream deck but if you just got your physical stream deck or you're planning on getting one so you can get access to the virtual one i have another video that i have recorded actually showing you step by step on how to set up your stream deck to be able to control OBS. And of course you can combine it with the virtual stream deck as well and be able to create a powerful, professional show, easy to control. So if you wanna see that video, I'm gonna link it right here. Make sure you check it out guys and I'll see you there. Take care.